Louisiana Beer Reviews, we're looking at Hog Tide from No Luck. It's a wit beer, 4.5% uh, alcohol. It's brewed with locally grown Louisiana Satsuma Peel and Coriander. Um, there's nothing about this on the website. Okay, I looked seasonal, special releases, year round, nothing. There's a handful of beer reviews on Rape Beer and Beer Advocate. No video reviews. This is the first video review for this beer in the world. It's an adhesive, one of these adhesive labels. You know, you just take a standard can and they tape it on there. So, I've had many new NOLA beers. Gotta watch it because these things tend to be filled so high. Yep, just like I thought. They actually fill them too high. I'm going to wipe that up. There's no room for that tab to go in so it splashes beer everywhere. You get the most aggressive pourer in a world. Okay, it's, it's uh, kind of straw color, hazy, lots of bubbles. I'm sure if I give it a swish and pour, it's going to get hazier. Kind of a maybe off-white appearance. So, what are you going to think about this beer? I don't know. You're going to ever see it. I bought it at a Martin Wine Cellar. It's one of these things could be here, to, here today, gone tomorrow. Isn't that the case with so many craft beers? Now, your response might be, what's the point of reviewing it? I mean, nobody can get it. Um, actually, I would have no defense for that. <laughs> You're right. What is the point? All right. Okay, it's a standard aroma. It's uh, spiced white bread. <sighs> a little sugariness. It's, um, it's just a common type aroma. Like um, if you had um, the um, Salus, the Salus beer from uh, New England or um, the who got and that kind of thing. Sell us white, that's the one I'm thinking of, not the Grand Cru. That's the 8% super strong. Same thing, standard flavor, like a little bubble gum, a little banana, the coriander spice to sweet white bread. Fluffy, soft mouthfeel. Medium dry finish, easy going, mellow beer. Um, it's very well done. It's nothing. It is remarkable in the sense that it's, you would almost, you could fool somebody thinking this was who got, really. But as far as differentiated or anything new and game changing, <clears throat> game changing, no, but that's fine. You know, they want to make a whip beer for this Hogs for the Cause, that's, it's okay. If you ever see it, and you may, may see this hogtide, I would strongly recommend it. Everything does not have to be different, experimental, and all of that. It's got a date, guys. It says Best Buy, July 14, 2017, and we're within the date range. So, for an inexpensive, you know, relatively inexpensive craft beer, which provides no information on the website, <laughs> I mean, you figure it's wheat malt, some sort of probably common hop variety. There's your swish and pour, and it clouds it up with your uh, typical yellow-gray cloud. All right, so is it a must-have? No, because, I mean, these wit beers are common, but... It certainly goes toe to toe with those uh, more you know more uh, I want to say exemplary because the, the more uh, common ones, well known ones. So no off or weird or wanky aromas or flavors at all. Not a style I particularly like, honestly. If I never had another wheat beer in my life, 
a wit beer, it'd be too soon. But um, I would still go into the A minus range in around 90, 91. Something like that. Excellent to an extent. Now, that could be my dislike of the style coming into play. You've got to take that into account. These biases do affect our uh, appreciation of the product, but it's very well done. Excellent product. Lazy Le Bon Tongue and y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.